Oh look, it's trying to be funny. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hey guys, this is my review of Supernatural Season 15, Episode 10. Sorry for the delay. It's doing a wedding expo haul tomorrow. That's been all really on my mind. Also, in more interesting news than this episode, pretty certain that Jared Padalecki ran past me yesterday. We were on set in the Plaza of Nations building. Looking at my phone, right when I looked up, I swore right in front of me this jogger was Jared. Looked like him, had the hair, had his toque, because he always wears one of those toques. He can jog. I didn't even have time to say anything. If I had tried to get his attention at all, it would have looked really creepy. He does the work to stay in that shape. If that was him, mind you. Anyways, this episode was directed by Showwater, who's done a few episodes of this season. However, the humor is written by Andrew Dabb himself, if I'm correct. This is his last attempt at trying to be funny and... Ugh. This episode basically summarizes that now that God is kind of completely removed himself from their stories that they are now regular people and they have regular things happen to them like cavities bad luck i can't cook but jared is full-on spastic in the kitchen he's dropping everything and then they also seem to not be able to take on monsters they aren't able to do all the things that they have trained their lives to do i'm very torn on this joke half of it is actually pretty accurate and actually quite funny the fact that the car breaks all the time is 100% accurate. This thing should have eight jillion miles on it. And there's no way that this car would still be working. Dean having 17 cavities does work as well. The fact that he walks it off though, his whole mouth would be need to be re-excavated. And then there's this fight pit with the monsters. It was a cool idea, but I feel it should have been its own separate episode because this could have been a separate idea because you know what could have been brought up? That whole monster army, that alternate, Michael created, and they dropped, by Dab, the lazy fuck. I talk about pandering with that Claire de Lune song during the fight scene, even though it was really well used in the Godzilla King of Monsters trailer, I have no idea what it's doing here. Either way, the episode has a mixture of a cool concept with its humor, but this would have worked long ago, and the fact that this isn't just like a one-time off funny bit, this is actually a part of the story element itself, is hilariously terrible writing and they are going to go to Alaska to apparently get their luck back. This is what the final season of this show has for us. A battle of getting your good luck back. How about the friggin wishing well episode? Why don't we go all the way back to that? That was actually a funny good episode and I think that was written by Dab too. He's trying so hard to grasp that humor that he used to have but he just doesn't have it anymore. Either way, this episode is two split ideas that don't mix well together. They don't have a interesting concept with themselves individually. The Garth aspect is actually not that bad, though. I'll admit that if this is the end of Garth, this is a good send off for Garth. I think that they did well by Garth. Well, that's one for three thing that they didn't really screw up on. So in the end, I'm gonna give this episode a three out of seven. It's Oh my God, this is it. We're heading into the final 10 now. And this is what we're building up to, getting their luck back. Anyways, if any of you saw in my community channel posting, I had an announcement that I was gonna do something a little different with the final 10 episodes of the season. What I'm thinking about is having you guys give me your comments, whether they be critical or harsh, preferably critical or funny, well-humored. And I will do a separate episode just reading your guys' comments after each episode, because it's gonna give me more joy, I think, than actually reviewing this show anyways guys that's all from me i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe and like i said leave your comment make it funny and i'll be sure to read it in the following video i'll be doing anyways guys that's all from me see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while but i'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.